All right, turning now to a deadly school shooting in San Bernardino, California. Police are expected to give an update on the case later today. Authorities want to know why a man shot and killed his estranged wife inside an elementary classroom yesterday. One student was also killed. Another was injured. The shooter then took his own life. John Blackstone has more. The shots were fired before 1030 Monday morning. Authorities scrambled to secure the area as they quickly evacuated some 500 students and discovered two of them had been shot. They have two victims out here, both with severe trauma. Second victim has a chest wound, but is talking. Police say 53-year-old Cedric Anderson entered his wife's classroom. It is my understanding that he entered the office and he had simply said that he was there to drop something off with his wife. According to authorities, his estranged wife, Karen Smith, was his target. He aimed a 357 revolver at the 53-year-old, and she was killed. Also shot were two students standing behind her. Worried parents waited for hours to be reunited with their children, who were transported to a nearby campus. We're just happy our baby's home, yeah. and our prayers go out to everyone who was affected. Eight-year-old Jonathan Martinez was airlifted to hospital where he died. An unidentified nine-year-old boy is hospitalized in stable condition. The class had 15 students from first through fourth grade. This seven-year-old girl is one of them. I saw blood across the room. What did you do? I, I ran as fast as I can. Teaching assistant Jocelyn Kelly was there in the class. The gun was already out by the time any of us looked up. Police say Anderson then killed himself. I'm told he does have a criminal history that has to do with weapons charges, uh, domestic violence past, as well as uh, possible um, drug charges in there as well. I mean, my baby's on our honeymoon. The two were married in late January, but police say they were recently estranged. Anderson praised his wife on Facebook less than two months ago. She is making it really happy. We do know that they were estranged. We do not know the reason that they were estranged yet. That'll be part of the investigation. And John Blackstone is following the latest from San Bernardino, California. So, John, what do we know about a possible motive and what more have you learned about the gunman? Well, motive isn't isn't clear as yet, but we do know that this couple was married just in January and separated just in the past few weeks. So that clearly is one indication of trouble in this marriage. And we also know that uh, Cedric Anderson faced charges uh, of assault and brandishing a weapon back in 2013. Those charges appear to have been dismissed. We also know that uh, uh, two petitions by, were filed by women against him seeking a restraining order, but still police say no one that they've spoken to so far saw anything that could have led to this kind of violence. And it's so heartbreaking, John, uh, because this comes just after, you know, that horrible terror attack in San Bernardino. But I want to just help our audience understand the children, uh, the child that was killed and the child that was injured, were they, they were clearly standing very close to their teacher when the gunman walked into the classroom. They were apparently behind the teacher when the gunman walked into the classroom. Apparently he came in, said nothing, opened fire. He was carrying a, a large caliber revolver, uh, shot several times. In fact, uh, we're told reloaded the gun in the classroom. The children appear to be very close to the teacher. This was a special needs, uh, special ed uh, classroom. Very well respected teacher, the, the people at the school say. Children were near here, clearly were not appear not to be meant to be victims, but were caught by stray bullets. Uh, that is a detail I, I did not know, John. Um, that is absolutely devastating. Uh, so when is the school expected to reopen? Uh, we know it's going to be closed for at least two days. Uh, school officials here say that there will be uh, counselors available for, uh, <coughs> excuse me, for family and uh, uh, family students and, and staff here. The school's going to be closed for at least two days. Such a tough story. John Blackson reporting for us in San Bernardino. Thank you so much, John. Appreciate it.